Hey folks, hope you're having a good weekend. Today I've pulled out three amazing sounding bands from my black metal queue. Really looking forward to checking them out. Let's get straight into it. The first band we're going to look at is Anti Ritual. The track is called The Oppressive Weight. This one came out in October. Let's give it a spin. Absolutely loved everything about this track. Cool video to go with it as well. Super dope. Massively loud track, ran through a limiter, and even so, it still distorted the mix, but it went with the sound of the mix as well. Sometimes when you push a, push a cleaner mix too hard and it distorts, it ruins it. But when you've got blackened music and, and a harshness to the music anyway, it just adds another level of distortion to the mix and breakup. It can work very well when you actually push it too far. These guys did. Sounded absolutely great. Very, very loud. Blasted music, great guitar tone. The bass tone was amazing as well. You could always hear it doing its own thing. Sick vocal as well, just went great. All the, all the elements of this music came together nicely and just sounded right with a superb energy blasting all the way through uh, with a nice little breakdown section as well. Yes, absolutely loved it. Next band we're gonna check, check out is called Aslak. The track is called Shades of Sorrow. Let's give this one a spin. Everything comes 
I'm pretty sure they're mini drums, but I like the fact that they've done loads of fill work and not just standard drum beats. I think they could have got away with putting a bit more volume on the background vocal on this one though. Synthy orchestral side to this one as well. Thickens up the mix. energy in this one as well even though it's got that slow moving symphonic edge to it as well nice double edge with the drums loads of fills on the drums cool cool video to go with this one as well suits the music very good now I would say Really like the, the amount of drums that they did in this track, even though they were using MIDI drums, because it's something you don't tend to hear. When people are using MIDI drums, it's generally, you know, way more dialed back than what a, a real drummer would do. Um, and, and kind of maybe copy pasted uh, beats and stuff like that. But these guys really filled it out with long fills and stuff like that, sounded great. Now, the only thing I would say to them as well with that stuff is, the faster your drums are with MIDI drums, with fills or whether it's blast beats or something like that, double bass as well, the faster that stuff is, the more obvious it can be that it is MIDI drums and not a real drummer. And you do need to spend extra kind of effort and time when you've got super fast MIDI drums to try and make those sound a bit more natural, mess about with the velocities, mess about with slightly off time and things so it's not always set to the grid. And that will give just a bit more natural flow and feel to the sound of the drums. Uh, and it will just come off, come over to the listener a bit less machine-like. Because uh, some of those fills and, and, the, and the drum beats were a bit machine-y because I think they were all set to the grid. Uh, so you just got to loosen it up a bit because no drummer, even the best drummers in the world, are right on the beat. They're always just slightly over the beat, slightly before, slightly after. But that's what gives drummers their groove and their pocket and their natural sound uh, and it's it's the one thing that sets the difference between midi drums and a real drummer but if you spend a lot of time messing about with the velocities and trying to give those little changes in the time you can make it sound very very natural which is cool uh, but yeah this was a good one nice symphonic edge to that one as well uh, can't go wrong with bringing in synthy symphonic orchestral sounds to blackness as well works great Let's finish off with this last band. They've got a long track for us, six and a half minutes. This is a new band to the channel, Selbst. The track is called Sculpting in the Dirtiness of Its Existence, which is a cool name. Let's get it on the screen, give it a spin. Nice videos as well to go with the music today. It's always great when you've got black metal music to have a black metal video to go with it.
before great drumming. I'm actually going to crank this one up just a little bit for us. Sick drumming. Looks like another world, that one. Super. What a great video as well. It's like some crazy alien world that is. guys know exactly what they're doing.
Amazing. Absolutely superb. 10 out of 10 music, in my opinion, this stuff is. Basically masterpiece music. I don't think there's, there's nothing you can do to this music to make it any better, to make it more emotional or have a bigger crescendo, move in better ways, have better sections. They've just, just dialed everything in, the guitar tones, the way the vocal sits in the mix, uh, the drumming is just absolutely insane high level as, as drumming as you'll ever hear you can hear the bass in the mix doing its thing as well it's just got a big epic sound build-ups and a crescendo um and it just just swells inside your body this kind of music man i think this this kind of epic black metal music and we've had a fair few bands on this channel even doing this stuff are just creating masterpiece after masterpiece type music uh, you know, they know what they're doing, they got it dialed in, they know how to move through the music, and they just get the job done. And man, I just think th this music really touches me. I think it just, I, I really think it's a masterpiece. Every time I listen to this style of music, I just get so impressed by how perfect it is, how how well it's come together, um, and just, you know, just the, the, the feelings that it makes you have just how how great it is to listen to it's just perfect so man we've had quite a few bands come through on the channel that can do this perfect music um so you know it's not just one or two bands that actually do it it, it is a style and a genre and once you know how to do it you can basically just create perfect tracks but man they do it so well it's recorded so well as well you could hear all the elements of the band the drums and the cymbals cut through in a great way so yeah I just absolutely love that kind of music. Some of the best shit ever. There's three super amazing bands to check out. I'm hopefully getting more and more people via this channel into black metal because black metal isn't very big on this channel still. It's more of a grind corey, hard corey, metal corey, corey type channel. But black metal is the shit. Uh, and hopefully I can get more and more people into black metal by just showing them absolutely 10 out of 10 bands like I have today. And they go, hang on. Yeah, this sounds amazing. So if you've made it to the end of the video and you're not normally into black metal, fair play to you. I'm hopefully getting under your skin with that stuff. We'll have more to come. I've got some amazing bands in my black metal queue. All the bands in my black metal queue are absolutely 10 out of 10. Amazing stuff. So we'll have some more in the future for you. These, these bands are definitely worth checking out more uh, and getting on board. This last track, I so saw it just came out in October again. So it's new stuff as well. There you go. Hope you're having a good one, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.